Okay guys, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to program a key fob uh, on Cyan XB 2005 and similar models. So we have those. I'm trying to see. Okay, that's the part number I guess. Same here. I got two remotes. So I want to program two, and I heard that, and I got these instructions here. Okay, I'll do a close up. Okay, <clears throat> and in these uh, instructions, it says push and hold the lock and unlock button for 1.5 seconds on the first remote being programmed as soon as you let go push the lock button and hold it for 2 seconds uh, my brother uh, did this programming on his car and he said this actually does not work here but <clears throat> I mean he, he says don't push the lock button right here just don't do this part before you before you program two remotes and then you can push the lock and and hold it for two seconds and it's gonna um, pr pretty much memorize it or something let's just give it a try and see what I can do here okay so I got some other keys as well on this but this is for this vehicle this is from a different vehicle so but here are the new remotes okay and just to show you they don't do anything you see okay same as this one press and lock unlock nothing So let's go ahead and start. Okay, it says begin with the key out of the ignition. Okay, it's out. Open and unlock the driver's side door. Okay, let's open the door and unlock. Close all other doors including the trunk. Okay, everything is closed. So Within five seconds, insert the key in the ignition and pull it out. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, close the open. I'll close, then open the driver's side door twice. Oh, look. <laughs> That's weird. Guys, you will not believe it, but look, I'm inserting my key in the ignition and I'm trying to open the door. Look, not, oh, finally. I opened it and it locked again. See? <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Check this out. I'm unlocking it, it locks. Okay. That's kind of weird. So I guess uh, it's doing something. Uh, close, insert the key into ignition and leave it in the ignition. Close the driver's side door. Switch the ignition on and then off. Uh, remove the key from the ignition. Okay, the door's locks will now cycle to confirm. No, nothing. Guys, okay, so it does not work. Let's just go ahead and, I don't know. I can't open the door. Oh, it started cycling, okay. That's kind of weird. Uh, remove the key from ignition. The door slugs will cycle. The vehicle has successfully entered programming mode. 
push and hold so I guess let's go ahead and push and hold uh, lock and unlock for two seconds okay for one point okay let's go ahead and do the same thing with the other one push the lock button and hold it for two seconds okay. nothing works yes, nothing works I think I'm doing this wrong or something or the vehicle's acting weird but I got the real instructions so let's keep going Okay, so look, I opened it. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> what is it doing? Guys, that's weird. For real. <laughs> so I guess it entered the programming mode. But for some reason, I cannot program. What happened? Okay. It's still doing something. Um, okay. Remove the key from the ignition. The door locks. Oh, uh huh. I'm gonna remove the key from the ignition. Let's continue to. Uh, the door locks. Uh huh. Push and hold the lock and unlock. Okay. It's kind of weird. Guys, this vehicle is weird, for real. What? I cannot exit the vehicle. Okay guys, this is messed up, for real. Okay guys, this is weird, look, it keeps doing it. I don't know, I even started my vehicle already. I cannot exit the vehicle programming thingy so that's weird for real what, what do I do okay oh I pressed unlock okay it's stopped okay finally it's stopped okay maybe my thing broke or something Stop, look. Stop. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Maybe I shouldn't uh, press this, but because they say uh, you should unlock the driver door and everything else must be locked. So I guess uh, maybe I shouldn't touch this uh, because otherwise you see what, what was happening. So let's go ahead and start over I guess okay I'm gonna turn off the vehicle let's start over begin with the key out of the ignition open and unlock the driver's side door open and unlock okay it's unlock there uh -huh. the driver's door it's unlocked so I guess you need to pull this by hand. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, within five seconds, insert the key. Twice. Close then open the driver's side door twice insert the key 
into the ignition to then remove it then remove it okay close then open the driver side door twice okay insert the key into the ignition and leave it in the ignition close the driver's side door switch the ignition on then off on off remove the key from the ignition okay now it starts cycling can you hear that okay now uh, the, okay, push and hold the lock and unlock button for two seconds. Okay, doing this another more. Okay. okay, now as soon as you let go, push the lock button and hold it for two seconds. Okay, the door locks will cycle from successful. Oh, see, you gotta do this from both this one and the other one. Okay, uh, the key door locks will cycle uh, to confirm successful programming of the remote. If you have any additional remotes to program, I repeat the step 12. If you have no additional remo remotes, proceed to step 14. Open the driver's door. Okay, so I guess I can unlock it or something. Okay, it's weird. I'm trying to open the door. Come on. I don't know guys but it did not work so I'm gonna keep trying okay guys so uh, it did not work so I guess my brother was wrong about the programming uh, them at the same time so let's just stick to the instructions and start over okay begin with the key out of the ignition okay open and unlock the driver's side door open okay and it's unlocked close all other doors including the trunk within five seconds insert the key in the ignition pull it out twice okay close and open the driver's side door twice. Insert key in the ignition, then remove it. Close, then open the driver door twice. Insert the key into ignition and leave it in the ignition. Close the driver's side door. Switch the ignition on, then off. Remove the key. Okay, the doors will now cycle. Okay, we heard that. Okay, push and hold. Okay, I'm the first being programmed. As soon as you let go, push it the lock button and hold it for two seconds okay the door locks will cycle okay looks like I programmed one mm -hmm. if you have any additional remotes to program repeat okay push and hold the lock and unlock okay and then push the lock button and hold it for two seconds okay so i guess they programmed now 
the doors uh, will cycle to confirm okay open the driver's side door side door programming is now complete so but as you can see they do not work I do not know why I think I have done everything right but as you can see I still cannot program maybe it's because it doesn't want to um, do two remotes who knows let's try at least to program one remote Maybe I need to exit the vehicle to lock or unlock. I'm gonna open the window. Let's, let's do it again but this time let's do just one at least one okay begin with the vehicle uh, with the key out of the ignition okay open and unlock okay within five seconds insert one two close Insert the ignition, then remove ignition, then remove it. Okay. Close, then open. Twice. Insert the ignition and leave it in the ignition. Close. Driver side door. Switch the ignition on and then off. Remove the key from the ignition. Okay. The door is locked, so we'll now cycle to confirm. Okay, push. And. Okay. Now. Okay. The door locks will cycle to confirm successful programming. Okay. Uh, open the driver's side door. It looks like it did program, but as you can see, nothing doesn't work. Even though you heard it actually read the uh, the remote, but. I don't know what's happening. Why doesn't it want to work? Come on. That's weird, guys. Okay, guys, so I, I tried again and look. It's, it started to work. One of them actually started working. As you can see, locking, unlocking. It's weird, but as you can see, those blinkers are on. Okay. But it looks like the car is locking on its own. I mean, it's actually weird, but it's starting to work. Okay. No, I'm trying to lock it, and of course, it's gonna unlock. Okay. It's starting to work. Yeah. So just play around with it, I guess. Even though I programmed the both of them, 
but only one works now I'm gonna try to program the other one so I mean that's cool at least at least I programmed one already okay yeah nice 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 I'm happy let's go ahead and do the same thing to the other one which is begin the process open okay door is unlocked Close the drawer. Switch the ignition on. Remove the key from the ignition. Okay. Now. Okay. Okay. So it looks like. Nice, guys. It worked. <laughs> so yeah, guys. It actually worked. Finally, guys. Twenty minutes. <laughs> I spent twenty minutes, if not more. So guys, both remotes work now, but I had to do it separately, as you can see. Even though it may work, you know, who knows? Just give it a try and you know maybe the system is glitching somewhere. But I'm happy that it actually worked. So guys if you find this video helpful, like the video and also subscribe to my channel. And if you need to pause the video, you can do that to see the instructions. So guys, subscribe to my channel.